I'm Chris Marsh. I'm the general manager at Spanish City. So when the building first opened, a lot of um, things were already thought out in terms of accessibility in the building. Um, but what we have done is we've taken on customer feedback and looked at our own processes on site to try and make the building more accessible. We had to open up from scratch and develop our services and systems in place at the time. Um, so that was very much working uh, with uh, certain bodies, disability bodies, but also working uh, with feedback from the customers as they came into the building to see how we could make it more accessible for people. Processes don't generally take a long time uh, for the sorts of things we've introduced since we've opened the doors. Um, so things like uh, developing um, new materials for people that maybe have difficulty with sight, um, like larger print menus, for example, you can do quite quickly. There's quite a lot of support out there, including the, the Everybody Welcome initiative. So um, that's a really interesting program. I've found that um, as a person without any disabilities, um, it allows you to think out the box and say, oh, well, actually, that will make a difference to someone who maybe can't see uh, a menu as well or might have difficulty getting through and navigating through the building. Our aim is to achieve the best customer service at all times. Uh, the only way we would be able to do that is by being as inclusive as possible to every sort of guest who wanted to visit. Um, so we found in our experience of operating for five years now and developing the product um, as we have, um, that more and more guests are able to access the services. Um, they regularly give us feedback on our friendly and a welcoming approach to everyone who comes in. And we wouldn't receive that feedback unless, um, unless we had done, made the steps and put all the effort in that we had. We'll always look at ways that we can improve things, um, and that's everything from customer feedback generally to how we operate to accessibility. So um, if we are, something's highlighted to us um, as maybe something that we could look at further, then we'll certainly try and take that on board and make reasonable adjustments to make sure that um, we're doing everything possible to continue that inclusivity. Since I was alerted to the uh, Everybody Welcome Scheme, uh, we've been very excited to join it. Um, it's a new resource for us that we can um, approach and, and get some new insights into how we can improve things for our guests going forward. Um, there's lots of exciting things in there, like, for example, possibility of getting 360 degree walkthroughs of a building. It's really useful uh, as a resource, for, especially with people with autism, for example, who like to plan their whole journey from start to finish. Uh, and know what they're expected to see when they get here. Can you look at making little changes, like making sure that the staff are prompted to hold open doors for guests that maybe struggle with getting through doors? All these things make uh, are just small changes you can make to your business, but you can make them overnight, you make them very quickly, and they have a massive impact. I would encourage everyone to um, take part in making their building more accessible to, to customers. It's only a win-win situation at the end of the day. Um, you're going to get more business into your, uh, more people coming in to use your business and obviously reap the rewards from that. Um, but also it's about the experience for customers and um, by not ruling anyone out or excluding anyone from your business, it means that uh, you can make the experience as best as possible for everyone who tries to visit you.